Hello, everybody, and welcome to Castlevania Aria of Sorrow again. I've already played this game last year, but there's actually a little something different this time, as you can no doubt tell from the title. We're going to be playing this with a little ROM hack applied. Now, what this hack does, it essentially creates... It inverts the entire castle, flipping it upside down. Or mirrors it. I'm not in... Hang on a second here. Let me let me pull up the name here of who made this. Let's see. Ikusatatsu Ushiro Mia. Sorry if I pronounced that wrong. Okay, so... As this is described... This is an entirely reversed castle from Castlevania Aria of Sorrow, just like the reverse castle in, Kim in, in Castlevania Symphony of, Symphony of the Night. The amount of enemies is increased, and in Julius mode, he can, Julius can explore chaos. That's what this hack says it does. Now, if you guys know me, you know I love me some Castlevania, even casually. Somewhat considered playing through this casually, but then I figured, ah, what the hell, let's just record it. Not like it matters, I'll just put Soma. Now, from how this works, or how from uh, how I understand this works, it rever- it- uh, there are some things due to cutscenes that you can't completely change it around, but we'll- we'll see. We'll see how this works. I'm really curious about this. I'm gonna let this text go ahead and scroll, for those who aren't familiar with this game. I am gonna let the cutscene- go through the cutscenes in this. As well, hell not. This is a relatively short game. I could probably burn through this in one or two episodes like I did last time. Alright, I also had some interest in, um, potentially doing a video on the other channel about Castlevania hacks and mods and stuff, so... Well, may as well start filling up the bucket for what I, for what I know. Start exploring the world of ROM hacks a little more. I know, of course, we know about some Pokemon ones, but I feel like with all all Nintendo consoles, people only really know about pay attention to, like Pokemon ROM hacks and Mario sixty four ROM hacks. Everything else is kind of under the radar. But anyways, hmm. Hey, looks like he's coming too. Where am I? Whoa, what happened? So you've decided to join us. Did you have a pleasant nap? Huh? Who the heck are you? It's okay, Soma. His name is Genya Arakado. Skip the introductions. I have a few questions and I need answers now. G go ahead. Why have you come here? Why, well, Mina and I... Hang on, where are we? We're in Dracula's castle. Huh? Dracula's castle? Are you telling me, are, telling me we're in Europe? No, we're inside the solar eclipse. Inside the solar eclipse? You're insane! Do you think I'm a fool? Soma, listen to him. He's telling you the truth. What the heck are you talking about? Give me an explanation. Well, it's like this. Huh? An enemy. Damn, protect the girl! Ah, uh, go back to where you came from! You don't belong in this world. Wing skeleton throw spears. What was that thing? So it has awakened. What as? The spirit of the creature you killed has just entered your body. You have the power to absorb the abilities of the monsters you control. Why would I have that power? You have gained the power, now you must go to the master's chamber. For what reason? Do you not wish to return with your friend to your own world? Of course I want to go back. Go to the master's chamber, then you will understand everything. But I can't just leave Mina here like this. No need to worry about her. I'll put up a pro I'll put up a pr protective barrier. But death will most certainly find those who stay here too long. Then I. Yes, only you can save her from a painful death. And you, what will you do? I too have things I must do within these castle walls. Go, set forth. Both your own life and hers are at stake. Alright. Okay, so, yeah. As you can tell, 
castle's flipped, so I gotta go in, yep, upside down, as you can see. Yeah, I just get hit right away, Christian. But, in the original game, the stairs and statues are also on this side. The reason for that, I imagine, is so that the cutscene didn't corrupt at the start here. Okay. Mina, are you doing okay? Yes, I'm fine. It seems like the monsters can't get in here anymore. Arakado said he put up a protective barrier. And while we're on the subject, just who is Arakado? I'm not sure. I heard he does something related to national intelligence. National intelligence? Sounds like he's a spy. He's been coming to the shrine for many years. He's an unusual man. What makes him so unusual? The face of a normal person changes as years pass, right? Yes, people change as they grow older. In the ten years I've known him, he hasn't changed at all. Are you sure it's not just your imagination? It could be, but his face is just too beautiful. He's almost perfect, don't you agree? So you're saying that he's your type, right? What are you talking about? I like guys who are... That's none of your business, okay? It was just a joke. Why are you taking things so seriously? Forget it. Don't you think it would be better if you stayed here too? No, in order to get us out of here, there's something I've, I've been told I must do. Aside from that, I've discovered that I have magical powers. Maybe it's best I don't mention, mention the danger of staying here too long. I understand, but please be careful. I will. Mina? Yes? Do you trust me? Of course I do. I know that you would never lie to me. If that's true, then please wait here. I promise I'll get you back home. Okay, don't worry about me. I can wait as long as you need me to. Alright, I'll be back. Don't get yourself hurt, okay? Okay. Okay, that went on for a little longer than I was expecting. I, I, I guess I must have missed that piece of dialogue before. Okay, so obviously some platforms have to be changed around in order to make the castle still playable. So it looks like I can get up here right away. Normally you need double jump or something, I think. Lucky charm. I can get that right away. All right. All right, now let's see here. Let's see how this works. So I can go up here right away. Oh boy. I ain't messing around there. Okay, I can immediately go to the first warp room and yep, the map is definitely flipped here. Um, I don't think I want to go touch those right now. They're probably too strong for me. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Was that a stutter? Uh-oh. Don't crash on me, game. Uh-oh. Okay, the platform's a little wonky there. Okay. You're a little messed up, aren't you, fish? Oh boy. Guys. Oh, they're a little messed up, aren't they? Wait, didn't I find a cape? Increase my defense by one point. No, I want my luck. No, the save room is up over here, right? Back dash by pressing L. All the water from this pond has fallen to the bottom. Oh, but it still detects, detects it as water here. Okay. This goes to the reservoir, which normally is a, is is weird. You, you can go there right away, but uh oh. But you ordinarily need certain abilities to get through that door, so you usually leave it alone. What happens if I go there first, though? Gotta jump into it. Underground reservoir. Oh 
Oh boy. Okay, so I can't get up here. Not the souls. This pendant literally just is useless. They changed it a little bit so I can get the lucky charm early. All right, I'm hoping there's no, no crashes in this. Make another save, and I guess I'll go towards the first skeleton boss. And I have some different enemy re placement, and apparently more enemies in general, so let's get ready for that. Oh boy, <laughs> let's hope the whole game isn't slow down city. Platform things are so weird. <laughs> oh. We got the bones. Oh, there's two of them instead of the normally. Uh oh. Usually there's just one axe armor in this hall. But now we get. Two axe armors and a, and a skull archer. There's the boss room. Uh oh, and that's a trap. Ugh. Should not have. Should not have come here. Oh boy. Yeah, I'm dead. Should not have dropped down there. I was unprepared. I saved again. Alright, no worries. I've gone through this game quite a handful of times normally. So it would have been too easy otherwise, so let's just accept the challenge. I can do this. Oh, there's skeletons in here. There's archers at the back. Are you kidding me? Oh. Okay. We'll play like this. I'm down. He's normally not be supposed to be able to get that close, is he? close. I'm wondering how they did bosses like Belor. Two levels come in here. Hey, hey, stop. The bosses. This is a boss room. Okay, I'm definitely interested to see the, how, how this whole thing goes. you guys to bug off, though. Alright. Now, if I remember this area correctly, there's a hidden... Okay. Items just pop in and out. I guess... Maybe he changed the way the items are placed, but it doesn't change how the game detects when to spawn it on screen based on your position. Anyways. Yep, this is a hidden room still. gonna be get more and more disorienting as I go on. Just watch. Oh, okay. Water. Flying armor. And that's as far as I can go in here. Usually you go a little further, but I understand. They had to make that make it sum submerge there in order to keep an eye. Identify breakable walls. I always found that to be such good design how they put that uh, they put the rare drop of that soul in in this room right here 
Well, they introduced the peeping eye enemies here, and they introduced the first hidden room right here. So if you happen to get that drop, you're like, oh, that's how it works, because you put it on immediately. That being said, it's it's still a rare drop, so it's 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 fucking annoying otherwise. Truth be told, though, we all start with the peeping eye soul. Quick Google search. All right. Depending on how difficult this is, and I may get lost, too. I don't know, maybe this could be more than two episodes. I don't know. Let's just roll with it. Um, hang on a second. Line armor. Usually you need that for this part, but how do they do it then now? Oh, boy. Okay, you can't get over to that platform without the flying armor. That's how they did it. So it's upside down, but it still works the same way. Ugh. Stop it. That bird is stuck. I get the whole yeah I did get the whole map completion bonus two bone dragons no oh boy I'm gonna have to use that potion I just picked up. Can't afford to be too reckless here. Strength is increased by four. Well, that's definitely better. Ooh, we got another one. I don't think souls stack in this game, though. Nah, I don't think they do. Extra souls do jack shit for you. Oh, boy. That's gonna happen a lot, isn't it? Take it. <sighs> okay. Hang on over here. Is there no way for me to... Yeah, I can't jump in a way that'll let me glide, can I? Nope. I need double jump. Guess we'll go this way for now. Ah, I'm getting too close. There's a little less candles to hit this time around. I don't think they can fall. I'd have to have a fall animation. Hang on, there's no other way down here, right? No. Okay, aside from that first hallway with the skeletons, it seems to be pretty stable, really. Hope I don't die.
I still only have my starting knife, unless I missed a pickup earlier. Check out the two side rooms on the left here. Oh! Copper plate. Oh, definitely I'll take that, yes. Let's ignore them for now. That soul's not good. I don't want it. This is... Oh, you're, uh, stuck facing the wrong way, boy. Yeah, I'll take the defense. I don't think I... Luck will only really affect my soul drop rates. And I'll just turn that on if I want to farm an, ex an extremely powerful soul. I almost died right there, and I didn't even give a fuck. Oh. I gotta be careful. Here's another potion. Oh, for fuck's sakes. Damn it. This my defense is pretty good here now. items I missed up here. No, it's just that side. Alright, now we have a long hallway to get through. I really wish I had something other than the, than the knife right now. Ugh. Because they really... It's hard to hit them. What's that? Oh, rotten food. Rare footage of me getting money. I'm really gonna need to burn a lot of MP throughout this playthrough. Ugh. Seemed like a good idea to prioritize increasing my defense, though. See peeping eyes in the background. Grenades only do one to me. Okay, don't know how well so, good so far. Another bone, bone attack. Oh, did you throw a... Uh... Yeah, you threw some elevated platforms in here. I guess you kind of had to. Who's this? That doesn't usually exist in the vanilla game. Okay, looks like I'm gonna have to wait. Okay, nothing over here. Wait. So that thing down there is blocked off by whatever that is. Is it though? I'm gonna have to make a mental note of, of that. That's an obstacle that doesn't exist in the regular game, so. I have to ride this thing back to the top. Is there a new ability in here I'm un unfamiliar with? Maybe, who knows? 
Anyways, it looks like there's nothing else I can do for now. Time to just move over to the left. Oh, I'd kill for a good sword drop right now. Oh, come on, that went through you. Oh, 50 bucks. Cloth tunic, ah, uh, that's not good. That would have been good if I got it at the start. Really turning up the spawn right here. It's all right. I dig, I dig a wacky ROM hacks. And if I can find as many cool ROM hacks as, as I, that are like this, I would definitely be down to make like a long, thorough video on the other channel talking about that. I think that would be really fun. Some people often ask me why I don't do more videos on Pokemon ROM hacks on the other channel, and I think the reason for that is, well, tons of people already do that. I just like making shit that. Ugh. Alright. Like making. When I make stuff on the other channel, I like picking stuff well, most of the time anyway. What happened to fire? That isn't like super overdone. I'm sure if you looked at my yellow channel right now, you could probably find many, many contradictions. But whatever. This is also blocked off. What is it? I guess we'll find out as I continue to explore. Any cutscenes changed? Who knows? But no, this is pretty cool so far. And again, Julius mode is also also works with it, and even like extends it to go beyond just the final boss fight at the top of the castle and take into the chaos realm as well. So I'd even play along too if you want while you're watching this or something. Cause why not? Okay. Oh boy, I'm almost dead. It's been a while since I've seen a save room, hasn't it? Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Okay. I was debating whether or not to take the ego hit of using save states, but it's like... Oh boy! I feel like they purposely cut off a, f cut off a few save rooms there, because I couldn't... Like, you see those little gray corners I couldn't get to along the way? I feel like those are probably intentionally blocked off. Oh, pardon me, I was just very parched there. All right, it all worked out. Um, I don't have slide, I can't get that. So what do we have up here? Student witches. You're not supposed to be at this part of the game. It's Graham Jones. Oh, hello there. Uh, hello, you're, you're human, aren't you? Relax, my name is Graham. Let's just say I'm a missionary. I almost just said mercenary. Hi, I'm Soma, Soma Cruz. You weren't here in this shrine before, were you? How did you get here? I'm not sure. I, I went through the shrine gate and boom, I was here. I see. Uh, can I ask you a question? Go ahead, I don't mind. Is it true that this is Dracula's castle? It most certainly is. But isn't Dracula's castle in Europe somewhere? 
In theory, yes, but his true castle exists somewhere else. His true castle? Yes, it's a well-known fact in the underworld. Do you believe in vampires? This is probably my most favorite out-of-context line in Castlevania. Well, uh, no, I thought the story of Dracula was made up, actually. No, it's all true. It was leaked to the outside world. Usually the church handles these things with the utmost secrecy. Over the course of time, Dracula has resurrected many times, when people lost faith and craved chaos and destruction. So, are you trying to tell me now that Dracula has been resurrected? No, Dracula perished in 1999. You know of the prophecy of 1999, don't you? Nostra Nostradamus' great prophecy. That's right, Dracula was resurrected exactly as he predicted. But vampire hunters destroyed him completely. They ended his regeneration cycle by sealing his castle. The symbol of his demonic power inside the darkness of an eclipse. And that eclipse is where we are now. Yes, but there's still more to the story. There's more. In the year 2035, a new master will come to the castle and he will inherit all of Dracula's powers. But that's... Yes, that time is now! I better get going! Is that all then? Oh yes, thank you. Farewell and be careful. Yes, you too. All right. Let's see what they did to the chapel area. Definitely looking forward to that. Uh-oh. What is nude spider girl doing here? Uh-oh. I still have just the knife. Oh, this game's trolling me by giving me a good armor. I'm not... Oh, I picked up... Fucking hell, how many people were screaming at me? It's okay, it's okay. I'm fucking blind, I know. Well, I'm never gonna hear the end of that one. Me and my big fucking mouth. Complaining that I don't have the goddamn knife- I have nothing but the knife. Meanwhile, I picked- been picking up other swords. I'm just too damn distracted by the new shiny castle, apparently. <laughs> Fuck's sakes, that was so dumb of me. Oh well. Okay, the base lard is still pretty short. Sword made for stabbing. Whatever, it does the most damage. I haven't gotten used to it anyway. Combat knife. Ooh. This one feels longer, though. Let's take it. Spawn and out of nowhere. Ah, uh, Mr. Fish, you just fell off the screen. Ah, uh, no door? Now there's a door. Wasn't the door on the other side? No biggie. I guess we'll go up or down. Oh boy! Oh, those aren't the won most wonkiest platforms ever. Okay, I can kill him two hits now. No biggie.
here should be... You know, I'm somewhat worried now. What if I actually... What if I get into, like, a softlock situation here? You never know. There might might have been an overlook thing where before I get double jump or the fly ability, I can really just get myself in, in, in an area where I'm my jumping ability just isn't good enough. Oh, uh, like maybe now. Now I can still do this. Yeah, I can do it just right. That one bell there. Can I get over there? Nope. It's too high. I think they knew what they were doing. This seems pretty competently made. I can jump on these bells, right? Yeah. Let's see. Still a section over here I want to try on the side. Okay. bucks. Anything could crash this as well. We never know. That goes back the same way, but there's still a bit more to explore. Gotta get that completely unnecessary map percentage. sword. I think I got too lucky. Yeah. Oh boy, yeah. No, no. I got too lucky with this combat combat knife. I'm keeping that for a while. Oh boy. That's a dirty trap right there if I've ever seen one. Moved. Ow, fucker. Radiates flames. Let's try it out. Uh, no. Oh boy, that does a lot. I can only use it while standing, though. Okay, that way it goes back. So what's down here? Uh, nothing. I'm just back to normal, or back to the end. Not back to normal, dumbass. Alright, need to put back on flying armor to get out of here. Alright, I explored. Alright, let's get out of here. The slopes are really wonky right there. I think for, uh, to be safe, I'm just gonna go back and make a safety save. Because as I've learned, this game likes to be a little cruel. Like, I think that's one of the reasons I kept go I kept getting so damn distra somehow distracted with the fact that I didn't have any weapons. Uh, other than that stuff like that distracting me. I, I just but was, a lot of times I was just focused on not fucking dying. level am I? Already level 7. The game just does not know does not know how to how to handle fish though. Or merman. Throws hand grenades. Now yeah, why not? Let's put it on. Can't use it. I find with this game, compared to Dawn, there's a lot more useless souls, in my opinion. Well, th th don't get me wrong, Dawn definitely has some really useless ones as well, but... I think, no, I think a better way to phrase it is that Arya, just, it, th it... There's like two or three souls in each category that are just ridiculously so much better that, you, that you'd never want to use most of the other ones. Like Red Minotaur and Legion 
are the two best red souls in the game. That Once you get them, you don't want to use anything else. There's just no reason to. They're too good. Anyways, I picked up armor, dumbass. Gym clothes. They increase my con stat. Con is just your how much you get you get physically knocked back when you're hit. Alright, grenade's not so bad. Where was uh Yeah. There's a little more back a bit of a trek to go back to the save room than I thought, but I think this is for the best. Okay. Student witch. You know, now I'm thinking about it. If they put certain enemies here earlier in the game, then that's going to lead to some cheesy stuff if uh, their drop rates. Like, if you can get a really good good uh, weapon or armor at the start. All right. Made a save. Healed up. Now let's get back to where I was. Nice. Definitely better equipped now. And yeah, in some cases, they really have to put these moving platforms, otherwise it's just not possible to get through the castle. Because in the case of the inverted castle in Symphony of the Night, when you got there, like, you had every ability in the game, so, you know, if you couldn't reach something, because obviously the, the castle's flipped upside down, there's gonna be weird, weird situations, you could just turn into the bat and fly wherever you wanted. fish hurt me when they're going down like that? Yes, they can. Goodbye, goodbye, no damage run. Good luck trying to do that in this game. Alright, let's go back and continue forward. There might not be... It's safe to assume that there might not be any saves for a while, and I can't... I don't have access to Hammer Shop, nor do I really have any money anyway. Luckily, those defensive boosts have really paid off. I haven't died yet, but... Uh oh Uh... Oh, wait, I have fly min flying armor still on. Fuck. But still, this is a really cool mod. It's just... Ugh. Like, the thing I love about ROM hacks, mods, whatever, is that they just give you a way to play your favorite games in another way. In the same way people love, like, the randomizer for Pokemon, or even Snake Wood, just for some people. We go down? Yeah, let's go down. I think there's a good... Oh, okay, that, that axe armor is a little, little fucked. Put him out of his misery. Like, for as much crap as I give bad, ge bad ROM hacks. Crap. You know, there's still some charm in being able to experience something familiar in a new way like that. Then you have to appreciate that, right, Rapier. Oh, I have two. Did I get that as a rare drop or something? I'm fucking stupid. Ugh. Ugh. Uh, I must kill them. My OCD demands it. Oh, that was fucking stupid, Christian. Glad I got that soul. It's honestly not bad. Only really early game, though, is where you get a chance to um, experiment with certain souls. Because once you get the Minotaur Legion, it's like, goodbye, red souls. You're all fucking worthless now. Nice. Okay, looks like I checked everything. I got the drops, got the items. Now I gotta be careful. I'm not gonna go back and save again, that's for sure. It's too far. Let's carefully. Okay, how do I? 
Luckily, I'm pretty, I'm pretty powerful, so I can tank hits. But I shouldn't go in with that mindset. That's always bad of me. Ugh. Got another skeleton knight. Again, too bad they don't st stack. What do I do here? I think I need to use flying armor again. There's another one of you. Come on. Oh, okay, you can st you stand on these things. Okay. Bone pillar. Okay, got the map. That Except this- Oh, fuck. I didn't mean to fall. Do I need flying armor to stand on those, now that I know that I can? No, I can hop over like this. Oh, fuck off. Okay, I got that part of the map. It's very important to me. I just want you all to know. Oh, fuck another one. Level up. It'll help me out. Okay, so hang on a second here. Going over to the side. Yeah, uh, there's no ignore those amps. I'll come back to do it another time, it's alright. It's not a big deal. Save room? Yes, thank you. Oh, I need a moment to refresh myself. All right, coming up ahead is the Manticore. Fun fact, um, the Manticore is actually a late game enemy in this game, much like the first boss, which is which is the big skeleton. And it actually had both of them have very small drop rates for their souls as when they're as bosses. In fact, I'm kind of somewhat looking into something I can do with that information with the mana core for a certain idea. We'll see if it flourishes. And that's all I should probably say about, say about that for now. Don't expect to see anything on that anytime soon, trust me. Okay. These fucking ghosts, man. Got that one staircase there. Hmm. Here's the mana core. Let's do it. Wait, what? What are the gremlins doing in here? Of course they're fine. Ah, fuck. And the boss is all the way down here. I gotta kill it quick. Or it can kill me quick. Okay, all bosses are gonna have regular enemies flying around. That's perfect, beautiful, just what I wanted. I can't wait to fight the lore. I can't wait to see what they do there. <sighs> That's, it's cool, I just saved. the grenade I, th I think I will actually you know what what we should do is the wing skeleton to get these guys out of the way first Ugh, they do a lot 
Okay. Carefully navigate down, Christian. Um. Oh, those are the windows. I thought that was cor a corruption. Fuck. Okay. I think that's all of them. Oh, there's those things. Those are there. Because fuck you, why not? Okay. Maybe I can cheese it. I somewhat can. Oh, he shot twice! I thought I could only do that once. Ah, oh, that's my mistake. Here I thought I, I knew what I was doing. I really should just ignore the gremlins and drop straight down. Okay, could you all please get the fuck out of my way? We're going in. This will be easy. Gremlins, don't follow me. Don't follow me. They're gonna follow me. Come on, I had to have gone down too fast. Look at that. Look at that. What'd I tell you? I know exactly what I'm doing. All right. Top here, there's no. There is a hidden, hidden breakable wall in a room nearby, I believe. Wonder if I can get to it. I still think those look corrupted. Okay, yeah, we're gonna put on playing skeleton again. Silk row. Okay. Ordinarily, I need to break a wall to get in here, but uh, I guess they changed it. Okay. Now I'm just falling down into hell. Save room. I got my map. Okay. Going down there. As we're gonna go into there. No biggie. Level eight. Let's cut that out right now.
And let's ignore you guys forever. Oh, there's ghost dancers in here. And there's a regular chimera in here. No! No! What a troll. It's still a boss, but we put it right back in there. That ain't good. That ain't good. Okay, I think I need to put flying armor on to get through that a little swifter. I've already explored majority there when it was uh, silent. Hang on a second here. Da -da 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 -da. Yep, there's just those two rooms on the side that you get to. acceptable routes, but we're gonna go this way for now, because why not? Lehman! Ain't a fun room to be in. Screw it, just hop down. Ah! Oh boy. Okay, it's getting dangerous. God, I, be, I should be so much farther by now. It's definitely gonna be not as quick as a vanilla playthrough. to fall down into anything now. Where am I? I'm in here. This goes back to the chapel where the chimera, uh, chimera was. Whoop. Oh god, that's a lot. That's a real lot of them. Oh, come on. May as well make them in a big middle finger formation. There's money. We don't need that, though. Dead end room to the right. This had better be worth it. Oh, it's a warp room. Oh boy. Yeah, this room's a little dangerous. Isn't it? Talking to Mina heals you up. Welcome back. Hey Mina. What's up? It's kind of late to ask, but what kind of shrine is the H Hakuba Shrine? So many you know the story of the Ama Noiwado Shrine? I think I've heard it before. In the story, Tensho Daijin hides herself in the shrine to calm Suzanu Suzano down. Yeah, I remember now. Tensho Daijin is the sun. The act of hiding symbolizes an eclipse. By hiding herself away, she was able to contain Susano's anger. For that reason, eclipses are thought to confine anger and evil intentions. Yes, people have prayed to eclipses for centuries, and the Hakuba Shrine is a shrine for this very purpose. I understand now. And usually we only conduct ceremonies for Japan's eclipses, but... In 1999, a ritual was conducted in Europe. Yes, that's what I was told. And that's when Dracula's castle was sealed inside it. That's why I knew the things that Mr. Arakado said were... 
Yes, I know that now he spoke the truth. I'm sorry, I should I haven't been much help to you. That's not true. I feel a bit relieved now. Thanks, Mina. Okay. So now that I'm a bit stronger, I want to see what ha happens if I go uh, a bit to the left here now. Killer doll mesmerizes the enemy. Oh, that's a big, nice, juicy sword you got there, game. Combat knife. Okay. But I can't get over there. I have flying armor equipped. Nope. There ain't no way you're getting in there. This is probably just a little troll to get you, uh, hit and hurt for a little bit. I don't want to risk going through that corridor in case it crashes the game. So let's warp again. And be careful. I may have healed, but I didn't save. Okay. I'm gonna need to put on wing skeleton, flying armor, bone pillar. Ghost Dancer, our luck is increased by four. All right. I can't believe this. they managed to make Ghost Dancers a problem. Ah, oh, shit. Uh-oh. Okay, I can make the jump after all. That's just a thing. I need to go the top right. There's a lot of you, and I don't like that. Shit. Shit! Oh, fuck! Oh, that's- that's fucking painful. Ugh. Let me out of the damn room. study. Oh, come on. <laughs> They're everywhere. Alright, where's this save room? High potion's nice. Oh wow, they put the immediately put the stronger variant right there. Level up. No! Couldn't duck in time. Okay, just keep going a bit. Uh probably should have taken that other route, be closer to a save room. Or would it? Oh, fuck off. Yeah, I definitely don't want, to, don't want to go there right now. There's a sword. Here is not a save room. Can't get up there without double jump. Let's see. My aim is perfect.
Sneed. Nice. Yes. Hit. Just play it safe. I really don't want to die here. Ooh. Oh, that didn't hit. Okay, she dropped. I have po. I have a, a high potion. How close am I to? Here's a regular potion. I had some. I forgot about those too. Down I go. Come here. What? What just what just happened? You spawned out of nowhere. Um Hey, you're Soma, aren't you? You must be him. Yes, but you're who are you? Oh forgive me, I'm Yoko Belmont. Yoko Bell, not as I fucking saw Bell and I said Belmont like a fucking. Yoko Yo Yo Bell, not as I'm a member of the church. How would a member of the church recognize me? You've met Alakar, I mean Genya Arakado, right? I did meet him, but he told me about you and asked me to help you if you were in trouble. Arakado said that? That's hard to believe. Well, he may seem cold at first, but he's actually quite a decent guy. He may be looking out for you because you share the same dark powers. Wait, what? Did you just say my powers are dark? Oh, you mean you didn't know that? Uh, oh no, did I say something? Well, uh, what's said is said. Essentially, you have the power to rule over and command monsters. Rule over monsters? I have no desire to do that. It comes as naturally as breathing for you, so you may not realize it yet. And though I called it a dark power, that doesn't mean it's evil. It's like a weapon. Its user decides whether to use it for good or evil. Well, when you put it that way, I feel a little bit better. Since I got this power, I've begin to, begun to lose sen my sense of self. You are yourself. There's no one else you could be. Don't second-guess yourself. Be confident. That's the most important part. So that's most important. I think I understand now. Thanks, Yoko. Giggle. I'm not used to being thanked by people. Oh, I forgot to ask you. Have you seen a man named Graham? Yes, I met him earlier. But be wary of that man. I believe that he will inherit Dracula's powers. No way. He did not look like a bad guy. Right, and I've got a bridge to sell you. Don't be fooled by his appearance. He's not who you think he is. All right. Well, I must be going. I've got to find Graham. Thanks. Uh, see you around. She's just gonna, just gonna moonwalk out of here. Okay, they clearly had some trouble messing around with that cutscene. Oh boy. Oh boy. I'm just gonna make the same amount of money. Okay, let's do it. down. Uh, I don't think that's supposed to be blue there. Uh, you're... Okay. Let's just ignore her. She's probably a little too tough at my level. Okay. Kinda... There's the boss room, so this must be the save room. No, it's whatever the hell this is. Why isn't there a save room? I 
miss it? I probably need to go back a little bit. It's not through this thing, I know that. Okay, I'm gonna have to use that other potion to say to stay a little bit safe. Oh, do I really gotta go through this again? I think I do. I'm not gonna go into the boss room without saving. Because I don't know what's gonna be in there. Like, I know it's gonna be the, the big armor boss, but at the same time, there could be regular enemies. Well, there will be regular enemies just floating around in there as well. Imagine getting hit and cursed by those things there. All right, this ain't as bad as I, I was making it out to be. That's good. That dies one hit, no problem. I can't get up there. Raw boy. Can't kill those things again. I didn't go over to the right here. Yes, this is the save room. Okay. Yeah, damn it, am I getting really thirsty tonight? All right. Can't go up without double jump. Oh boy. And I just lose all my MP now. At least it's Lethal Cat that runs at full speed. Ah, oh, you just spawn in. Okay. We're just gonna go back over here and save again to heal up. How close am I to leveling up? No, oh, I am really close. I didn't notice the goddamn bright seven in the middle of the room. Ugh. Keep falling. Oh, for fuck's sakes. <sighs> Enough of that shit. damage, but whatever. Can't be helped. Happened. So we're just gonna jump up here and... Oh. It already opened when I was at the... Harpies! Oh, boy. Great start. Great start, Christian. Great. Oh, they're... <sighs> Harpies purposely spawn at the top there, so that you have a tra have trouble hitting them. I got it. I got to deal with that first. Okay. I'm not gonna mind up. Not me to throw that. No! Ugh. Okay, I might as well just go heal again. It would take that amount of damage. Really should just try and use Bone Pillar in that room. I'm just worried I'm not going to be able to move fast enough. Oh, 
Okay, focus. It's hard, but... But I can do it. Just don't worry about spending all your MP. You can get it back like this. Still have that for good measure. skeleton back on. Alright. I really gotta... Um... I wanna get my heart and my MP back, though. Okay. Gonna be a little tricky. is that damn harpy. Alright. Ah, too close. Should just use use the other high potion, or I have two of them. A little overkill for this stage for the game, but that's all right. Okay, it's gonna go too slow if I don't just use the mind up here. Well, the mind up doesn't restore as much as I thought. It's only two extra grenades. Fuck it. <sighs> all right, he's down. I still say that Harpy was harder for some reason. Hey! Oh, what's a child like yourself doing in a place like this? A child? You're rude, Grandpa. Oh, my apologies. My name's Hammer. The army ordered me to come here. Hi, I'm Soma. I thought I was inspecting a shrine, but suddenly I was in a castle. Don't you think that's a mean thing to do to a guy? So I just bailed on my mission. What do you mean? There were a bunch of strange people gathered at the shrine. I thought they'd be good customers, so I opened up a shop. Uh, good for you. There are weapons all over this castle and no monsters at the front gate. Good place for a shop. Come on by, I'll give you a good deal. See you around. <laughs> Moon walking out of here, buddy. In true Castlevania style. A shop, huh? I just don't get it. Jump again. I got I got Malthaz. I got double jump. Okay. Let's do this. Should I go with that or should I go with Okay, zombie soldier. Let's do it. Ugh. No, 
Uh. Oh, this fucking game, this fucking hack, rather. I gotta do at least this boss for this episode. MP back. All right. Okay, you know what we're gonna do this time? This time I'm gonna go down this little area first and then I'll go back and save. I'll probably gain a level up out of it. Ah, fuck, I tried to jump away in time. God, I swear they're going for their stone, stone breath way faster than the vanilla game. I don't know, I'm probably wrong. Did I just see something fall there? Burn the witch is. Okay. Okay, mister. Whip sword. It's an extendable sword. Okay, I remember. This weapon actually sucks. As it does have range, but the problem is, even if you, unlike other weapons, when you use it midair, it stops you when you hit the ground until the animation ends, so it's actually very slow and not good. Better to keep with a combat knife. Alright, so we're gonna go back to the fucking save room. You. Just gonna hit that one more level, and then we're gonna try and get through the study. Those har that harpy is a huge problem. If anything, I should say I shouldn't be using zombie soldier against against the knight. I should just use a uh, bone pillar once the harpy is dead. But the problem is, once you come in from the backside, the harpy and the knight are aggroed immediately, so you have no choice but to just deal with it. All right, hang on a second. What do I got? I have two high potions and a high mind up. Or two mind ups there. 
and I have to do my best to make use make use of them. Well, now I have another mind up. Fire enchanted arrows. How's that look? Skull Archer. Ah, uh, that's basically the same thing as, as Wing Skeleton, except a little slower, isn't it? Ugh. Of course I fucking hit that. Why do I have Wing Skeleton on? There it is. No! Alright, you're down. Ah, good damage. I'll get an orb after this, but I can't afford to use potions just yet. Oh, this is gonna be really difficult. Ah, that was stupid. Ah, that was really stupid. Yeah. All right, it's down. Iron plate? Sounds like a rare drop to me, doesn't it? Copper plate, iron plate. Oh boy, yes. Definitely want to keep that. Yeah, we're gonna... I can't seem to skip the cutscenes. I'm just gonna use the speed up button. Maybe, maybe they disabled the ability to skip them because it might cause glitchy effects. I don't know. All right, let's get ready for this. No save states. Okay, I gotta... Ah, you fucker. Okay. Fuck. Oh, I got through him. Nice. But do I get greedy? Now I just let my, um... I just want to- I want to kill this guy now. Just for the hell he put me through. Hang on a second. I'm just gonna use those. Ah, oh, fuck. That didn't do much, did it? It's okay, I know what I'm doing now. See? He's down. And even close to leveling up again. All right, I got double jump. We live in. Put on the zombie, zombie, uh, zombie soldier. Another the bower before. Uh, Frig. All right, uh, gain more MP so I can be completely safe here. This game is cool. I, keep, I should specify this hack is cool. It's doing some it's doing some Kaizo crap like that with that, I swear. Oh, and again, that's probably not quite Kaizo. It's still pretty dickish. I 
least I got a great big boost to my um, defenses with that drop. Everything's explored. Go up there in just a moment. Okay. Hmm, then again, I have been going for quite a bit now, haven't I? Let me see, how much of the map I've explored? Not even 25%. God damn! This is gonna take a little bit to get through, isn't it? But anyways, I think I'm gonna go ahead and call the episode here. I'll do this on and off when I feel like it. It's fun. I like this hack. I do think it offers quite a bit to look at, and oh, I'm going in, I'm going into certain spots thinking they're gonna be easier. So I'm kind of I'm wondering what the game's gonna throw at me uh, going forward. But anyways, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Have a good night. Bye bye.